Hi friends, welcome to my another video. Today in this video, I will discuss the designing of G plus 4 building as per DIVA regulation. This topic will be covered in many parts. Okay, so stay tuned and watch all the videos related to designing of G plus 4 building as per DIVA regulation. In this video, we will take a architectural layout from the civil. In this video and in the upcoming videos, I will discuss the topic distribution of light load inside the flats, distribution of light loads in a common area like corridor, passage, parking, lobbies, in that. The third point we will discuss distribution of power load inside the flat and the distribution of power load inside the common area. After that we will discuss the circuit formation for the light and power load inside the flats and in common area. Then we will discuss the HVAC load distribution and its circuit formation. Then we will discuss and consider the plumbing loads, firefighting loads and facade lights. Then after considering all the loads, we will make the selection of cable and circuit breaker for final distribution board, sub main distribution board and main distribution board. We will prepare the load schedule for the flats DB. Then we will prepare the load schedule for the common area flat uh, common area final distribution board. We will again make the load schedule for the SMDBs. We will prepare the load schedule for MDBs main distribution board. We will calculate the voltage drop calculation. We will design the capacitor bank. We will calculate the KVA rating for the generator for that particular G plus 4 building. We will calculate the transformer size for G plus 4 building. Then we will do the SLD designing and finally we will prepare the load card for this building. During the process of making videos related to G plus 4 building designing, if I will feel that any topic need to be discussed more deeply, we will add that topic apart from this topic and I will discuss that topic also. So stay tuned and watch this full playlist for the G plus 4 building designing. In order to start the designing for G plus 4 building, we have to first overlook what this architectural drawing consists of. This is the plan for the first floor. Okay. In the first floor, we have seven flats, flat F01, F02, F03, F04. F05, F06 and F07. In that F01, 2, 3, 7, 6, 5 are 1 BHK flats and F04 that is first floor flat number 4 is 2 BHK flat. Apart from that we have the common corridor. Okay. We have a staircase, 2 staircase. Fine. We have lift. This is the first floor layout and this is typical for second floor, third floor and fourth floor. Now let us see what is in the ground floor. So let's check this one. This is the ground floor layout. In that G01, G01 is the 1 BHK flat, G02, 3 is a 1 BHK flat and G02 is a 2 BHK flat and it is typical to the first floor flats also, this three, uh, these three flats. Apart from that we have some service room this yellow color highlighted area is showing the service room okay then we have parking okay parking this is parking we have staircase we have lift and the unhighlighted area is the open to sky now we came to know what is the building type what this building consists of okay as i told you in my previous discussion that we will take one two bhk flat and we will do the light load distribution, power load distribution, light and power load circuit formation and then we will prepare the load schedule for this 2 BHK flat. Then we will take one 1 BHK flat and we will repeat the same process which we have done for 2 BHK flat. But here I will tell you one important thing that in one of my video I already explained 2 BHK flat power load distribution, light load distribution, power and light load circuit formation and I prepare the load schedule for this 2 BHK flat. So the part 2 video will be the 2 BHK flat load schedule preparation and its related concept in very deep by considering all DIVA regulations. In part 3 video I will take an example of I will take 1 BHK flat and I will fastly do the circuit formation for the light load and power load and then I will make the load schedule for the 1 BHK flat. As I already covered 2 BHK flat topic in very deep by considering and referring all the DIVA regulations. So first kindly watch 2 BHK flat video 
which is explaining how to do the distribution of light load power load and the circuit formation for light and power load and the how to make the load schedule for a particular flat if you really appreciate my effort then please subscribe to my channel please hit the thumbs up button and press the bell icon for future videos we will meet in part 2 videos and we will discuss the 2 bhk flat circuit formation and load schedule preparation concept so stay tuned we will meet in another video till then take care keep learning and bye bye thank you so much